My name is Simran Mehra Agarwal. I live and work in Abu Dhabi. I'm a multidisciplinary artist working across several genres, but with a focus on drawing. I completed my bachelor's and master's in fine arts from the College of Art, New Delhi, with a specialization in painting. Uh, thereafter, I went to study sculpture at Central St. Martin's College of Art and Design in London. Uh, a few years ago, I was in Florence learning the techniques of uh, mural and traditional techniques of mural and fresco painting. Currently, I am the artist in resident at the art studios at Manara Al Sadiat, where uh, besides pursuing my own practice, I am also taking master classes and art workshops for children and adults. So I'm hoping that this experience of bringing, being an educator will also come back to me in my artwork um, by the insights that I gain from a lot of people. My research focuses on the concept of nature, its growth and regeneration, and the artificial. It talks about the liminal state in nature, which is the time in limbo between destruction and rebirth, when creation takes place in utmost secrecy. It depicts the impact and the aftermath of war and obliteration in the environment, resulting in dying oceans, endangered species, and the destruction of the planet. As a child, I lived in India. In this densely forested region, uh, you have a multitude of rare vegetal species, and it's all, it was also uh, neighboring an old and uncanny Second World War military air base. So when I came to the UAE, and um, I saw similar things like while diving underwater, you know, these archaeological sites. So it reminded me of my childhood and I thought about, you know, uh, how I could bring that, you know, the, that idea in my work as well. For me, uh, like hiking and climbing up to the heights of the mountain and diving deep into the sea has always been an inspiration. So when I do these field visits in which I explore these places, and then I bring all the material back into my studio. And then I start correlating the information and I start creating like links between uh, the different things that I see. Many of these wrecks in the Middle East have been transformed into artificial reefs. You see that over these destroyed machines, you have a biofilm of algae and bacteria kind of, you know, forming a layer over it. And over these layers, you have different kind of assemblages of plant forms growing. So again, you know, thinking about the concept of liminality within the context of the ocean is also very important. My residency at the Abu Dhabi Cultural Foundation really helped me enhance my practice. Uh, we had tremendous support from different curators and I started beginning to experiment with a lot more mediums and techniques. And I came up with this entire new body of works, large scale works, which was something very, very new and exciting for me. And I always dreamt of, you know, creating these very large works, which were covering entire wall spaces and which would be very immersive for myself as well as the viewer. And I wanted the viewer to be a part of the experience rather than a mere observer. At the start of the residency, I was focusing on the concepts of nature, its growth, regeneration, and the artificial. I made these very small drawings of uh, microscopic details of plant forms from different perspectives and angles, and I put them together into one, like a small artwork. And then I was also looking at uh, these drawings and paintings in watercolor of war machines in, in different stages of destruction. And I was looking at how these forms uh, change color, texture, and, and composition, and how they became organic. I was thinking about how dis, uh, the distortion of form was related to the distortion of, of uh, you know, the distortion in the process of drawing itself. So I was thinking about how the body related to the artwork, how I integrated my breath, and how sometimes the work was deeply meditative and I was focusing on the teeny tiny details and at, la at other times it was like really like bold and uh, you know like bold and expressive. I also worked a lot with collage during in the cultural foundation. So I had these large drawings, I had prints, I would just like you know, I started you know embodying the process of creating and destroying. And I treated the, the artwork as 
as a natural form in, in, in itself. You know, so um, the work was organically growing. It kind of grew from one side and it started developing every day. You know, so every day it was like a new process. It was a new process of growth. It was a new process of uh, degeneration, of regeneration, of reconstruction, deconstruction. I mean, it was, it was a tremendous journey. And I like to work with a lot of materials. I like to work with paint, uh, like drawing materials. I like to work with plaster. I mean, there's nothing fixed about it. I don't like a very uh, you know, structural ap approach to art making. When I talk about the secret garden, you know, it is a space in the mind. It is the space where you know, the different mysterious, mysterious processes of nature are taking over. You, know, you have these man-made machines coming up and you have these botanical forms which kind of take over and they kind of envelop the entire machine. And they become like these hybrid creatures and structures. Everything is beyond the surface because there are multiple layers of creating the artwork. So when you go close to the artwork, you have these you know, minute lines and patterns and fractals. And when you actually go away from the artwork, that's when the form actually takes the shape. I think about the process of how the forms undergo the different processes of creation, maturity, destruction, dissipation, and how these come together with different patterns, fractals, and structures in nature. I also like to show, you know, juxtapose the microarchitecture of plant forms uh, with uh, different blueprints of uh, destroyed cities and, uh, you know, very old maps and hybrid structures of buildings and uh, ships underwater. So I want to create this very, uh, you know, surreal kind of environment which depicts both the utopian world and the dystopian world. So through my work, I want to give this promise of, of, a, of a new land, of a rejuvenated world. In this art studio residency at Manara Al Sadiat, I am currently uh, pursuing my practice as well as master classes with children and adults. So I'm very excited about the new project and I'm thinking of using a lot more color, different kind of forms also within the new work. At this time, we are going through a major existential crisis, uh, both cultural and ecological. In a time of hopelessness and despair, I want the audience to think about how we can create a better world in which there's growth and rejuvenation. I want to be an artist who has a strong voice, who is able to change the perception of people through their artwork. So it's also about giving back to the society. I want people to interact with my work and I want the work to have that kind of a visual impact on the world, to be able to make some change and transformation.